Hello and welcome to the part 5 of a series of tutorials on Web API 2 with Entity Framework 6. It is adopted on an original set of tutorials by Mike Wesson of and a number of contributors from Microsoft. Now today we are going to look into how to create data transfer objects or DTOs. So, right now our web API exposes the database entities to the client. The client receives data that maps directly to your database tables. However, that's not always a good idea. Sometimes you want to change the shape of the data that you send to the client. For example, you might want to remove circular reference as we have discussed in the part 4 that is the previous section on handling entity relations and hide particular properties that clients are not supposed to view. Omit some properties in order to reduce payload size or flatten object graphs that contain nested objects to make them more convenient for clients. Also avoid overposting vulnerabilities and decouple your service layer from your database layer. To accomplish this, you can define a data transfer object or in short DTO is an object that defines how the data will be sent over the network. Let's see how that works with the book entity. In the models folder, we'll add two classes, two DTO classes. So right click on the models, click on add class and my class name will be book DTO and I will copy the previously copied code or paste it okay and then I'll create another class that is the book detail DTO So add class and this will be book detail DTO. Click on add and again I'll paste the code that I have written to my clipboard which is this one. Build the code. So it failed. I think there was a closing braces. In space was not closed. Yeah. So try to build it again. So it didn't build. Why it didn't build book DTO? Okay, so I have not closed the namespace of the previous file. So this time it should build. Right, build succeeded. Now book detail DTO. So book detail DTO class includes all of the properties from the book model. So all of these properties in the book detail DTO data transfer object class are brought over from book model except that the author name this author name property is a string that will hold the author name the book DTO class which is this one contains a subset of properties from the book detail DTO Next, replace the two get methods in the book controller class with versions that return DTOs. So we'll use the link select statement to convert from book entities to DTOs. So open the book controller, books controller, and these two get methods that we have got on top get books and then get book with an identity so we'll just delete it 
and copy it over from the clipboard and build the code again. So build failed. What is it saying? Quick action using system dot threading dot tasks. Okay, so this is added to the namespace and again build it. So build succeeded this time. Now if we go for the debug output debug view, we'll see the SQL. Let's inspect the SQL. So the SQL is Okay, so for that, again, we'll have to run the application and browse to API slash books. Right. Now we'll see this. So we see that inner join statement. This one. Now finally, we'll, we'll just close the application, stop the application, go back to the books controller and we'll modify the postbook method to return a DTO. So Let me see where is my post book method. This is the post book method. Just delete it and copy it over from my clipboard and paste it. Right? Again, just build the application. Will succeed and that's it. Thank you for watching.